use automatic content sharing. Before I get into content sharing automation, I want to highlight one other important reason why you should repurpose your content. If your audience members keep seeing that you talk about the same stuff over and over again, chances are you will lose them. People want to hear new stuff. People want you to explore other related needs of theirs. They don't want you to basically keep recycling the same stuff over and over again. Unfortunately, that's precisely the kind of risk you're running if you simply focus on giving people more of the same successful stuff. You know that a particular content theme works. You know it gets a lot of engagement. You know that it draws a lot of clicks. It's perfectly natural for you to want to keep recycling that same theme. Don't do it. Focus on the very best way to present that theme and stick with it. Just do it a few times, but focus more on repurposing. This way, when people get into contact with your content, they can see that you are talking about something that appeals to them, but in different formats. They are more likely to pay attention. They're more likely to click through. They're more likely to share. Keep this in mind when it comes to repurposing. Don't think that video 11 is completely optional. It isn't. You want your social media feeds to consist of highly successful content as much as possible. It really would be a shame to figure out what works, only for you to get lazy and just focus on text content. I'm sorry to say it, but text content can only take you so far. Which brings me to content sharing automation. Since you're going to be sharing a lot of content, and much of this content being third party as well as original and repurposed content, you're probably going to have your hands full if you decide to do this manually. First of all, since you're going to be covering many different platforms and sharing different formats on those platforms, you have a lot of forms to fill out over and over again. Sure, you may have created an account, one for each of those platforms, but submitting to those places requires you to fill in forms. Posting on Facebook involves form filling. Now, if you really don't have that much content to share, this should be barely manageable. But if you're looking to maximize your visibility by publishing on your social media accounts several times a day, you need to automate. Unfortunately, simply plugging in information into content publishing tools is not going to do you much good. You have to know when to publish. Believe it or not, the vast majority of your target audience members check their Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and YouTube accounts within a certain block of time every single day. Post outside of that block of time and you miss the eyeballs of the vast majority of your audience members. Sounds good so far, right? Well, here's the problem. Different audiences have different time preferences. How would you know? This is where experimentation comes in. First, you're going to have to share your content randomly at different times of the day. As much as possible, share content every hour. Set your content automation tools to publish every hour. Let this run for about a week or two. After the experimental period is over, check your stats. Facebook Insights, for example, will tell you when most of your page fans checked out your content. Armed with this information, you should set up your automated software to publish your content in a cluster to fit those optimal times. For example, in the experimental stage, you're publishing one piece of content every hour. That's 24 pieces of content spread out over a full 24 hours. After you checked Facebook Insight, it turned out that 80% of your content views actually take place between 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. You then take those 24 posts and compress them within that 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. window. This is how you publish in clusters. Forget time blocks outside of that time frame. This way, you maximize your chances of the right eyeballs seeing your content. Special notes for Twitter. If you're going to be publishing on Twitter, republish your content many times during the day at the most optimal time frame. Facebook Insight already told you that your content is being viewed within a specific time frame. Chances are your Twitter fans have the same social media viewing habits. Stick to that time frame. Now, here's the secret. Set up your automated content publishing tools to tweet out your best content many times during that time frame, but you also have to rotate different hashtags. This way, you can reach different people looking for hashtags that are related to different subsegments of your niche. Special notes for Facebook. When publishing to your Facebook page, don't hesitate to publish original content that you have published before. Try to avoid publishing only once. Instead, you should sandwich or schedule this republished successful content in between high-quality, curated content. This way, people get more exposure to your best content. Once they click through, you get yet another chance to recruit them to your mailing list. Remember, when you share high-quality third-party content, you're not getting the traffic. You're building credibility but you're not getting potential list members to your squeeze page. That's just not happening. When you share your own original content, you get a chance to recruit them to your squeeze page. 
Keep this distinction in mind. This is the reason why you should republish your most successful content by interspersing it with top-rated curated content.